Hello everyone and welcome back to our continued let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your Story Beast Gaming Channel, and today we start run number two, the Ruthless Failure Run. Oh boy, this, this is going to be interesting because our first run I think was as basically a big of a failure as we possibly could have done. But the purpose of this playthrough is to try to do our best. To purposely see things that we haven't seen before while being as big of a jerk to people as we can while getting people killed in different ways than they've been killed in previous runs or run yeah <laughs> there's only one number two uh yeah it, it's gonna be very interesting i have alternate costume set so we're not gonna play on sacrifice because we don't need that but we are gonna play on survivor and just try to succeed in the things that we think will lead to more damage and then fail in everything else with that said let's dive into it shall we every choice made every action taken has consequences some will save lives some will result in death. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Cassia Frank Stone from the World of Dead by Daylight. In every single one of our playthroughs, we've had a with this failure run. And it's always been interesting. We've also had a redemption run where we try to make sure everyone survives. And that's going to be run number three. Although we may have many failure runs in run number two here. We'll see. Or we may have many runs in run number three. Where if someone dies, we keep playing and then we go back and we reload and we see the person that we keep playing. If someone dies, we reload and so on and so forth. So it's very possible that based on based on what you'd like me to do, it, it could end up differently. Uh, do you want to see run number two to for us to play in the end and then go back and see a ton of different deaths? Or do you want to wait till run number three to see how that works? And of course, either way, we can always play through multiple times and go to multiple instances to to see things that maybe we haven't seen yet. I know there's a couple of people I've requested a couple certain deaths already. I can't guarantee that we'll see those deaths in this playthrough. However, we'll see it eventually. Don't worry, we'll see it eventually. The Burning Mall, Cedar Still Mill, 1963. <laughs> Oh. 
I don't think I noticed that first time. Oregon. This takes place in Oregon. I just don't think I thought about where it takes place because I probably didn't think it mattered. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. <laughs> I got a new costume. <laughs> covering the entire site? <laughs> oh, no. I got help. That's amazing. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Oh, God, that's amazing. Goes where he pleases. Merlin. A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Serious or concerned? Um, so we want to be as ruthless as possible. And I don't know what I said last time. So we're going to go with concerned. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Look Merlin. at that coat. Oh my gosh. You two are security for the whole mill? I know. I know. Overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Hi, Tom. Tom's the Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Kusich. Oh, you okay. mean the business with the missing boy? I think I was missing that That's earlier. Right. Uh, disapproving, definitely. Been drinking, Tom? Just a little nightcap. Nightcaps usually happen before a nap. This a regular habit? Regular? Oh no, not regular. More soda medication, taken only in time of need. How often is that? That what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. Insistent or stern? Stern. What makes you so sure? Is ESP a side effect of your medicinal practices? Now that is out of line! I'm sorry, officer. I want to help. I really do, but... I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome to have a look around the place yourself. Thank you, Tom. I think I'll do that. Happy to oblige. I love this outfit. That is the coolest outfit ever. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. Oh, did he put away the coat? Oh, that coat was awesome. That coat was so good. Dang it. All right, let's go. Now, part of the Ruthless Failure one is I try to do my best to not discover anything. Uh, because... I can get in through there. In my opinion, uh, sometimes discovering something can lead to a different outcome than if you didn't discover it. So, you basically want to discover nothing ever. Huh. Easy to the best it. you can. Now, unfortunately, I got really sick. In between playthroughs which really sucks because my memory is probably not gonna be as perfect as if I just played immediately after finishing up the last playthrough but I'll still try to do my best for some reason I remember the pull very very well I put a cut in the first video because I was wandering around this area for like 10 minutes because I didn't know that you had to hold X there to 
move to a new zone. Yeah, I know, that seems really dumb looking back on it. But maybe that's why I remember this place so well. Hello? Anyone here? Whoa! It's police! Okay, pull back! The entity does not want me to do this playthrough. <laughs> now, I'm also not going to explore areas that I didn't explore before. So, there was that one area where I think you go upstairs. That's going to be a playthrough number three thing. Uh, I think it's this one. You see how there's like a staircase going up? We never Who's actually there? went up up there. So we're gonna avoid that and we'll wait for the redemption Ugh, run to explore there. Like death. I'm, I may use a guide in the redemption run to try to get all the collectibles. It's interesting, it's nine o'clock. Could have swore in our hey, first run it was like 905. Officer Green. Does it actually track your time? You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ah. You all right there? Uh, yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? I'm not going to do it Sniffers this run. Out of commission. But I think in a future... A little too up close and personal run? with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. I may just stand here uh, for like... An hour. It can be a blessing in disguise. And just watch the clock. Gotta find out where it's coming from. And see if it what actually takes over like? to morning. Nothing good. Now, if you've tried that already, please let me know so I don't waste my time if nothing's gonna happen. If you haven't tried it though, then we'll discover it together. Why well, not so much together? Because I'll probably put in a bunch of cuts, but you know, whatever. We wonder where you got to. Come here, boy! Dang damn it! Sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. <clears throat> you put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. So Merlin gross. and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Uh, dismissive or unsettled? I think I said unsettled last time. Let's say dismissive. There's no proof it does. But what if do yourself a favor and park that thought? Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Carry on. What was that sound? Now, because the game died on me before, I do Stay know behind me. that you can't fail this uh, crate. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the failure here. And then if I dive to run, I'll be sure to do it correctly. So, what is this thing? The grate? Yeah, what is it for? It's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Ah, right, so we gotta find the item first. Forgot about that. That's what I need. Gotcha. He's a really good climber. Stand back.
I think I did change this so I just had to hold it now. Make it a little bit easier on my uh, thumb. Piece of junk. You want me to give you a hand? And I think there's an item that you could actually get later on if you have the crowbar still. Now, I did fail this one. I succeeded this one. So let's see what happens if we fail this one. Shit. I don't think we're going to get this on our own. Maybe you should call him for, a, you know, somebody to help us. No. Let's try again. Yeah, and I'm definitely gonna purposely see if this game automatically will succeed you over time. Because sometimes it does. Like, we found it in previous games. Uh, I've done a lot of these with this failure of mine so far in multiple different uh, Super Massive games and, and not Super Massive games, games like Heavy Rain. Uh, I did find that if you fail enough, it actually will automatically just succeed. Yeah, it'll, it, it'll like give up on you. It'll be like, yep, yep, you succeed now. Stop it. Uh, normally I like to give it like five tries. So this will be the last one. And if it doesn't work here, then, wow. Yeah, if it, if it usually doesn't work on five tries, let's give it one more shot and then we'll like succeed. I mean, this is a lot of what this one is like. Just trying really stupid things to see what works and what doesn't. Ah, it's beautiful. All right, let's succeed. Wow, that goes by really fast with that change. I gotta be careful with that. I don't accidentally press it. All right, take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. I didn't get the option on that. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. I didn't get the option to, uh... Sure could use a little pick-me-up right about now. I didn't get the option for that. Interesting. So we have scornful remarked. Um, but that's gonna let us succeed. Frustrated, that's the last thing you need. We're sure you better off keeping a clear head. So, frustrated... It, it looks like it succeeds no matter what we do, but the most hurtful thing we could say... Hmm. That's tricky. Um, that's really, really tricky. Uh, I think scornful is harsh, but but we're 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 trying to build him up as a hero if we do that. Let's go with frustrated. Because that sounds like the the most ruthless thing. Like, the, the up one is just, oh, you're not going to be remembered as an old drunk. You're going to be remembered as a hero. So let's go with frustrated. Now that's the last thing you need. Well, gee, thanks, Doc. I'll call you in the morning. Now take some goddamn responsibility for once in your life. Excuse me? I think you heard me just fine. Hey, I didn't ask for this. I was just doing my job. You had your dog doing your job for you. Have a little pride. Pride? I show him I can do my own dang job. That's all I ask. Yeah, I didn't like the fact that I didn't have the option not to give it to him. I wonder, wonder why. Why was... Hmm, that's, that's interesting. I, I love... 
I love games that have branches because you just sit here and theorize. Okay, well, what caused A? What caused B? How did A affect B? How does B affect A or C? Because, hmm. Interesting. Now, this is a hard part. Trying to figure out how to navigate through this place because don't really remember. Like this place is kind of a maze. I know if I go straight back, there's the item back there. I don't want to look at anything. I mean, th th this playthrough is all about going from point A to point B. Okay, if I follow this, this sign, to be it. If I follow this signs, it should help me get there faster. Uh, which way? Which way? Okay, that's a look. I don't want to do that. So this way, obviously. Ah, this place turns my stomach. Huh. Um, nope, nope, nope. Don't want to go this way. Huh. Crawl through here. Goddamn small spaces. Now I failed this the first one. And I'm going to fail this the second one again. Because I have a feeling that it's it's only going to let me find items if I succeed in the, uh, the QTE. So I'm going to purposely fail this. Wow, look how big that thing is. Wait, do we succeed? Did the game automatically succeed me? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. So if you don't fail it, it automatically wins it? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm curious about that. Uh. Yeah, one one medium difficulty, so it shouldn't automatically succeed anything. Uh, skill check timeout. Toggle the timeout feature. So that's probably what caused it. Let's turn that back on. Okay, let's turn that back on. I was thinking that uh, that would allow me a chance to fail manually. But I don't think so. I think it automatically succeeded. Good Lord, this is hellish. a baby I wonder. Is the baby our witch friend? Uh, we're gonna use ramp this time. Once again, opposites. And we're gonna get cocked. Oh shoot. I didn't mean to succeed that. I was trying to fail it on purpose. I, I should just do nothing. Because I turned that setting off, so I should fail it if I do nothing. Great start, Flatless Bird. You succeed on two checks and you're ruthless. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It'll get worse. Like, it's about to get worse.
Well, I have to, I have to. Come on, game. You're killing me here. Hit somewhere else? Nope. And unfortunately, you can't wait it out either. Because it's a tutorial. No, I did not mean to succeed on this! Okay, well, we can fail this. This is good. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, so we didn't get hooked, but we had our eye gouged. Nope, we, we got hooked too. Look at that eye. Dang. Painful. Probably injured your shoulder. Nothing about the eye, though. See, that's all you see up there, right? Do the baby. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Okay, so I need to see this really quick. Is there a timeline when Silver Permit Dancer's shoulder? Is there a timeline where. Why can't I see the. um? Why can't I see the uh, the tree? Can't see the tree. Wonder why that is. Oh, well, let's just play it out. Let's wait until the next chapter. Maybe it opens then. I, mean, I think we did a pretty poor job. We lost we, huge damage to our eye. The baby died. And we permanently injured our shoulder. That's cool. I don't think I realized it before. There was the entity up there. That was neat. Okay, can I see our tree? Don't think I can for some reason. Do I need to back out? 
Uh, when I quit to menu last time, it deleted my game, so I don't want to quit to menu. So I think I'll just wait until the end of this episode, and then we'll go. Then I'll exit out to desktop. It's okay. It's okay. And, and we'll see how it's looking so far. Okay. Let's uh let's do the uh, PT loop here. None of this is right. What the I, I find it amazing that I've succeeded more on the more on this run than I think in the entirety of my first playthrough so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mean to do it's just like instinct you gotta it, it's hard to break those instincts sometimes well like I said losing an eye losing the baby getting your arm permanently damaged I, I think those are all really bad things and if I need to replay it again to see all the things, then I'll just replay it again and I'll see all the things. So don't worry. If I miss something because I failed my failure run, then I'll go back and make it right. Apparently, um... Oh, there we go. I wanted to appear for some reason. I, I got here way too fast. The game is like, you're not supposed to get here so fast. You're supposed to look around. What's wrong with you? I think it's the TV. TV? That. Like, I don't think we met her other mom, have we? Kind of miss the old death. I know it's not. I know that's like specific to the dark pictures. But there's just something that's awesome about that intro. You can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. Left is always right. <laughs> Hitchhiker? 
No, no, no. Hey! Hey! And that's why we don't pick up hitchhikers. Eyes on the road, Maddie. It'd be great if it looped back around and we saw her again. And we just kept looping around it and we kept seeing her. You know, the mystical force playing on us to like just forever loop until we pick her up. Guess we're here. Chapter 2 in the House of Darkness. Chant Manor 2024. Doorbell. Good sign. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. No way I've come all the way out here and nobody's home. Let me in, please. Hello. Yeah, nothing could be about that. Have you got a letter saying that you want to go here? What would you do? Would you fly all the way over here? Drive over the way over here? For someone like this? I think even if I did, the first thing I see this house, I'm getting the heck out of here. <laughs> Is anybody here? <laughs> I this is another thing that I don't think I um better look around see if I can find anyone I explored well enough well this must be the place but that's okay because in this playthrough we're not worried about that Ah, hello. Another victim. Hi, Stan. Hello, victim? Just a little dry British humor. Oh, you're British? No, but spend a little while in a charming country house like this, and it kind of rubs off on you. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Ah, uh, Maddie. Well, nice to meet you, Maddie. Uh, short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, like the Avenue. Like, oh, in New York. Greatest city in the world. <laughs> Ever been? Oh, yeah, it's where I live. I mean, it's where I lived. But now I kind of live in Berlin, or, well, I go to school in Berlin. So I'm not technically a citizen there or anything. And New York is still kind of my home because, you know, it's New York City <laughs> and, like, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, you know? Well, so no idea what enough. to say to each other. Now that you're here, it seems like the party can find And I'll blame her. I'd be the same way. I'd be just... Uh, well, not much of a party. Totally clueless. Uh, yeah. You're telling me. Uh, casual or apprehensive? Apprehensive. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? <laughs> right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our Mysterious host. Oh, she made it. See, okay. I didn't need to pick you up. Linda Castle. I am honored, no, humbled, to make your acquaintance. 
Hi. It is truly a great pleasure to be graced by the presence. Appeared. Okay. Sure. Likewise. It's not every day you get to meet one of your all-time favorite horror filmmakers face to face and shake their hand. I would have gotten here sooner, but my car broke down, and I just couldn't get anybody to stop for me. Ah, oh, sucks to be you. Shit. I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry. I needed the exercise. Wait, wait, hold up. Are you saying that you saw the Linda Castle stranded on the side of the road and, and you didn't stop? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. This is the director of my mother, my father, my blood. Nerve biter. Blade and? Skinner? <laughs> dismember, dismember the 25th of December. Oh, well, that's a cool title. I like that one. <laughs> I had no idea who she was. That's no excuse. Uh, defense all yeah, I'm defensive. Never pick up hitchhikers, right? Screw that. Hey, you're a horror filmmaker. I thought, like, number one rule of horror movies was never pick up hitchhikers. Actually, it's never have sex. <laughs> but... He's got a point. No one has sex in movies anymore, anyways. Fair enough. I probably wouldn't have picked me up either. <clears throat> it is a classic trope. Lender respects your awareness. Ah, it films. sucks. Well, I use archetypes. Right. I, I feel like I couldn't yes. do anything there. <laughs> Very smart. If I apologize, Maybe it would have looked host has good. Something out for us. You know. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading, but nothing illegal. Obvious. Oh, obvious. Why not activate the hidden room? Hmm. Do I have to activate the hidden room? Nope, right here. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Hey, either of you heard of murder mail? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Why? What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. And uh, Supermassive actually one, put out videos the CIA on the YouTube video. The secret lab called Leary's Memorial where Institute they had these they broadcasts. Interrogation. And How things were going wrong. I'm a fan. You know, at the theater. So that was really cool. know this kind of stuff. I did react to that, and that was very oh. interesting. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice as I when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. 
Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. Names are important. And who are you? I They're your identity, you know? myself Augustine Lieber. Finding nice a name that you can call yourself Augustine that you believe in Lieber. matters. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Sort of like how the Flightless Bird matters a lot to me. That's a name that has meaning to me, so I love it. Now, I know relaxed would be the negative thing to do because I think I know how this has relevance later on, which is weird. But, you know, part of the ruthless failure is being as disrespectful and rude to everyone as you can. So saying, no, I'm going a, I'm to a decline your drink makes more sense to me. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit <laughs> eager? Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. Hmm. It is kind of interesting when you watch things back a second time, because you're thinking about things you never thought of before. We were like, so close. Why she rushes off so fast. I feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think, um, it matters. I don't think it's possible to have a death scene you just don't get it. or not death scene Do there. You? I think uh, he always you dies. Frank Stone, I mean. Nothing. You make me sick. <laughs> There's 
just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. I'm gonna let this fail, because... Just that... What you don't know is... Uh, us humans, we're made of tougher <laughs> stuff than you could ever dream up in your wildest nightmares. What? No! Oh, dear Lord! You say you want me to betray my own sister? And you promise to let me live? It's like not getting the binds and done. Just change his this is acting. This is unconsciousable. Fight and really die. That's what leave her alone. Oh, what did I choose last time? I think I chose defiant, so desperate. Leave her alone, damn you! She's innocent in all this. She doesn't know anything. You 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 can't do this. <laughs> what? I was <laughs> being cut in half by a giant alien someplace. So you think if you were getting cut in half, you'd really shout, Oh God, the unspeakable agony! <laughs> yeah. Is it what I wrote in the script? Look at the costume. No, I love green. Stick to your lines. The writers always write. That's God, she why looks incredible. A writer. Uh huh. Dang, she looks incredible. <sighs> I stayed in character the whole time. That's good, right? Yeah, it's something. I'm sure we can use at least like part of it. Oh, <laughs> look at her outfit. Usable. Uh, let me check the gate. I wish you could customize which characters wear outfits and which ones don't. Check the gate on these little super eights. Um, just to mess things no, up. Actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. <laughs> I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, jeez, Louise. <laughs> so, are are we good or what? Yeah, I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well, Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and <laughs> Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone Uh, compliant, you gotta respect the director, defensive. Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. Oh, this is tough. Um, hmm. I think I chose defensive last time. I think I did. So, we'll, uh, the, the, no matter what you do, one person can be happy, one person can be sad. Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so. Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way. Now we do it my way. See, no matter what happens, I could try to divide. Still, let me 
clean you off. I could try to put a wedge we'll in between them. If we don't, maybe we that's something I'll try to work it on. To me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. I just hope that choice okay. doesn't lock out that the option feet? of splitting up or not um, uh, later feet. on. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Oh, look at the eye. Sorry. How look. many times have I told you to stay away from this place? Look, look at that eye. Middle of a take. A take. For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. <laughs> Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon, I suggest you immediately vacate the premises and you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Uh, reluctant, absolutely. Uh, I think I chose reluctant. Yeah, well, this just looks best. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect. We almost got this thing entirely in the can. Like his like and collar. That's the last cool. Last few shots here in our main location. We're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop, and you gotta start taking me seriously, because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any more filming today. Not with that. <clears throat> hey, you okay, Mr. Green? Sheriff, hi, May. And yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Cause I said I'm fine. Still calls him pain. Ooh. Look, you gotta go. Let me uh, let me pay for the damage to the camera. But you gotta promise me you're not gonna come back, okay? How much are we talking? Ten should cover it, right? Really? This is interesting. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get this before. Say it feels a little weird to be bribed by a cop. Not a bribe. So how, why did this I'm happen? I'm a citizen paying for the damage indirectly caused by my actions. Feels a little bribey. Hi, May. It's your camera, right? Do we have a deal? Compliant or disappear? I'm definitely taking the money. Absolutely. I don't know if that's a smart idea or not, but this is a chance to see something I didn't see before. So yeah, let's take the money. Uh, sure, Mr. D Sheriff Green. It's nice of you to offer. It's not a handout. You gotta hold up your end of the bargain. We will. And I better not find out Robert's mixed up in any of this. All right. Let's pack this stuff up. I'll be out front. Easy money. The hell crawled up his ass. Terminator. Yeah, he's not so bad. Terminator Easily. 2 line there. We're not going to do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. 
I wonder if I get money from Bobby as well. I may have to play this game like a fourth or fifth or sixth. I mean, like, there just seems to be so much in this game. All wrapped out, sir. Try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure if we don't find, he would have kicked us out and wouldn't have got any money. That that's what like my intuition tells me. But still, what caused that? For him to give us money. Was the fact that his shoulder got damaged? All right, we're gonna pause here, but let me uh, let me see if I could go back to see the cunning floor. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, we had the cunning room floor here, and we took the bribe, which is a uh, is that a zero percent? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Hold on. My bad, I, I think I just like rewinded. I was trying to see if I can zoom in. I cannot zoom in. It sucks. I thought it was the zoom button, hold on. Info. Oh, okay. Um, I think that is a... I think that is a... No, it looks like that's a 9%. Because 86% goes this way, 5% goes this way, 9% goes this way. So, I accepted more of the bribe. Um, I did not go down the path less traveled. Uh, let, let's go all the way to uh, the Burning Man. Okay, so there's another path here. There's another path here. How do you get that path? Hmm. Yeah, and uh, don't forget, because uh, we had to restart. I don't have the bottom one unlocked there. Sam snapped. But what about the top one? Because I guess why I unlocked that in the previous game. Does it not carry over from game to game? Uh, Storm Drain. Uh, we missed the 27% here. Furnace chamber. One of the ramp. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be carrying over from the previous game. Why is that? Because do I had to... Is it because I started a new save file? Do I need to go back and redo this video with the previous, like, save file? I think that's what I have to do. I think I messed up. Uh. I mean, if I mess up, it's not too bad to get back to where we were. Uh, Sam's eye was gouged during the fight with Frank Stone. He was seriously injured. And Sam failed at a cost. Uh, drove on, did not stop. Linda arrived. Drake declined. Uh, Sam defied. Jamie urged Sam to follow the group to finish filming. Uh, we took the bribe. And then we're here. So, uh, let me know if you can, like, what I did wrong. Because what I did was, I went to new game. And I clicked this. And then I said new save data. I think what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to override a previous data. And I didn't do that. Uh, and, and it's not too bad to get back here. So, if you guys can let me know, hey, how do you keep the, uh, the tree... As it is, please let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. It's good to be back with you guys. I will see you again very soon. And until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. 
feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.